Hello, Instagram. Good morning. I'm here with you today. Welcome to my apartment um, and my second Instagram Live with Miami City Ballet doing uh, teaching a ballet basics class. Um, I loved having everyone last Saturday. I'm so glad to have everyone today. Um, so today we're gonna do, if you tuned in uh, on Saturday, you might, it might seem a little bit more familiar to you. Um, hi everyone joining. I'm so glad that you're here. Uh, we're gonna have a nice therapeutic ballet basics class and it's just gonna be good for your Saturday to start your Saturday to start your weekend in a well in a nice good um, therapeutic bar ballet basics bar uh, my name is Jennifer Lauren and I've been with Miami City Ballet for 13 seasons I'm a principal with Miami City Ballet and I absolutely love my job and I can't wait to share a little bit with you today. Um, hi everyone. All right, I think we have a good group here that's joined. So we're gonna start, um, welcome to my apartment again. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start. <clears throat> so in ballet we have uh, four basic foot positions. So first position, which is where your heels touch and your feet uh, start in parallel and you just turn your feet out a little bit. Not too much, just, just enough to where you can stand comfortably. So first position, and then we have second position, which is like first position, but with space between your legs. And then we have fourth position, and we have fifth position. So that's First position, second position, fourth position. So that's one leg in front of the other with space in between your legs, about a foot width apart. And then we have fifth position, which is both feet together turned out as they were in first, but you just slide your foot in to fifth position. Now this doesn't have to be perfect. Um, for today, Ballet Basics, just do what you can. It doesn't have to be the perfect fifth position. Whatever feels good is what, what I want to have you do. So for our first combination, we're going to be in first position and we're going to work the port de bras. So we're going to start in bra bas and then we're going to go to first position with the arms. So it's like you're holding a ball, first position, fifth position, second position, and you LMJ the arms, and you close first. And we'll do it again. First position, fifth position, second position, LMJ, and we'll tend you to second position with our legs. So now we do it again in second. First position, sec fifth position, second position, LMJ, and close. And we'll do it again twice, and then we'll tend you to fourth, and we'll do it in fourth. This is just to warm up our arms, to establish our posture. So we'll do first position, fifth position, second position, and down. And first, and fifth, second, and then we'll tend you to fifth position. So first, and fifth, second, first, fifth, and guess what? We're going to taunt you to first position and do everything with the left leg. So we'll do first position twice through, and then we'll do second, and then we'll do fourth position, and finishing off with fifth position. All right, so it's nice and slow. Um, really think about your shoulders down and your stomachs in, using your stomach muscles and Here we go. Six, seven, eight, and first, and fifth, and second, LMJ, back 
to Brava. And first, and fifth, and second. Tandu to second position with the feet. First, fifth, and second, and back to and first. Nice. Thank you all for joining today. Um, I see a few more of you have joined. Thank you, thank you. Uh, okay, so let's get started on our plies. Today we're going to do um, demi plies in all the just all of the positions that we just talked about in first, second, fourth, and fifth position. So, we're gonna start with our left hand on the bar in first position, and we're gonna do demi plie, which is, a plie is just when you bend your legs and you come back up, keeping your heels on the floor. So this is a demi plie. So we're gonna do demi plie with the arm in and out, Demi plie with the arm going through first position to second, and then we're going to do it again. Demi plie stretch and demi plie stretch. And then we're going to take a port de bras forward, which is just keeping these legs straight and where they are, port de bras down, and then we're going to elevate. We're just going to rise up on our toes and come down, tendu to second position like we just did. Demi plie, stretch, demi plie, stretch, again, demi plie, stretch, demi plie, stretch. We're going to reach towards the bar <coughs> and elevate and tendu to fourth position. We're going to do demi plie, stretch, demi plie, stretch. Again, demi plie, stretch, demi plie, stretch. Now we're going to reach, reach away from the bar. Away from the bar. Eleve. And tendu to fifth. And we're going to do demi plie, stretch, demi plie, stretch. Again, demi plie, stretch, demi plie, stretch. And we're going to do rise up. Fifth position, and open the arm, and you're going to turn your feet, it's called a soutenu, plie, tendu, to first. So now we're going to do 
the second side. Two demi plies. Again, demi plie. Quarter bra forward and eleve. Tendu to second, and we're going to do four demi plies in second. <clears throat> Reaching towards the bar with an eleve to fourth. Four demi plies. Reaching away from the bar. Eleve. Four demi plies in fifth. And then this time we're going to do a grand corps de bras all the way down, all the way side, and as far as you can go back, and balance in fifth position, and coming down. So I forgot to mention, grab something stationary like a chair or your kitchen counter, or if you have a bar, that's great, um, but make sure that it gives you support so that you can hold on to it because um, that's what ballet bar is. We need the bar for a little bit of support so that we can do these exercises. And think about our posture and our shoulders down and our stomachs in and enjoy it a little bit more. Okay, so here we go. Let's start with plies.
flexion if you can. If not, you can stay flat and open up the arms and finish. Good. Good, everybody. I know that was a long combination. <laughs> okay, so next we're going to do something called tendus, which is when you We've already done tendus in our transitions to first and second, fourth and fifth. So you should, you've already seen me do it. Um, it's where you use every single digit in your toe to, from flat to point. So we go to the front and we can go to the side and we can go to the back. So tendu stays on the floor. Okay, so. We're going to do, from first position, left hand on the bar or kitchen counter or chair, we're going to do four tendus very slow, in, starting in first position, with our arm in second. So one, two, three, four, and we're going to do four of these to the front. And then we're going to do four to the side. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to do four to the back. One, two, three, four. And four to the side again. One, two, three, four. This one's going to close in a releve fifth position, and we're going to do what we did earlier, soutenu, fifth, tendu, first. So then we're going to start to the other side. So four slow tendus to the front, four slow, slow tendus to the side, four slow tendus to the back, and four slow tendus to the side. And that's it. So whenever you start moving your legs, sometimes we forget about our arms. So really think about holding this elbow up and the palms forward, because sometimes we get a little droopy in our elbows. So <clears throat> really think about holding your stomach, shoulders down and back, elbows up, as well as your tendu. So it's like doing this. Um, it's a lot of things to think about, so uh, no one's perfect, uh, but we try our best. So. Let's give it a shot. Ready? Job. I see all your hearts. Thank you for your hearts. Oh, Chinatsu, hello. Um, <clears throat> so now we're going to do something called a degage. So we just did tendus, which is on the floor. They stay on the floor. You never leave contact with the floor. So now the degage is going to be the same action as the tendu, but we're going to lift our legs off the floor. 
just slightly. So the tondu was here, stays on the floor. A degage will be off the floor, just a little bit off the floor. So you're pointing your foot, you're using all those muscles and uh, ligaments and digits in your toes, and you're lifting your leg a little bit off the floor. Now be aware, try not to use your hip to lift your leg for the degage. You want to keep your hips still and just move the leg. So try a few of those and see how you feel. Um, just keeping the hips still. So we're going to do a degage combination. Starting from first position, and we're going to do degage, eight degages. One, two, three, each time closing in first, five, six, seven, eight. We're holding onto the bar. When the, after eight, we're going to switch. So our weight is on this leg. We're using this leg, and now we're going to switch to the left. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch to the, well, to my left. One, two, three, four. Switch. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to do two, and two, and one. Switch. One, switch, one, switch, one, switch. So now we've done eight, eight, four, four, two, two, one, one. Now we're gonna start with our left leg and our arm up. So we're gonna do, we're gonna reverse the whole thing. We're gonna start to the left, left, right, left, right. But we're gonna use our left arm up. So it's same arm as leg. And we're gonna do eight degages with our arm up, switch, Eight degages with our arm, our right arm up, switch, four degages, switch, four, switch, two, two, and then we go one, 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 one. And that's it. So um, eight, eight, four, four, two, two, one, one and then stay using that left leg and start to the left with the arm. Eight, 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 four, four, two, two, one, one. All right? When in doubt, just keep degaging. <laughs>
good workout. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed that one. Um, so it's important when, we're, when you're doing these exercises to keep your weight in your toes. Um, if you're back on your heels, it's gonna be very hard. If, you're on your, if your weight is in your heel, it's gonna be very hard to do a tondu. You have to be, your weight has to be in your toes to do a tondu or a decache. So just keep that in mind. If you really hold your center, shoulders down, weight in the toes, whether it's to the right or the left, that will help you tremendously. And then holding onto the bar helps you um, get that feeling a little bit easier too. Okay, so let's do a rond de jambe combo. And we're gonna do So we're going to start in fifth position and we're just going to do little pulses. So we're going to extend our leg out and plie on our supporting leg. And we're going to do one, two, three, four, five. And on the sixth one, we're going to rond a jambe, which means from the front to the side, keeping your leg on the floor. Um, and then we're going to do to the side. So from fifth position, we bring our arm to second, and we're going to tondu you out and go one, two, three, four, five, a little tiny round de jambe to the second. One, two, three, four, five, six. So on the sixth one, you initiate the round de jambe. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Like we, this is how we've been transitioning from one side to the next. So fifth, soutenu, come down. <clears throat> and then we do the left. So we do one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. So, now that we've done it both sides, we're going to suit a new and come down in fifth, and we're going to start our Rond de jambes. So we're going to do to the front and side and back and close, to the back and side and front and close. Again, front and side, holding this elbow up, back and close, to the back and side and front, fifth. Soutenu, to the front, and side, back, and close, back, side, front, one more time, front, side, and back, close, still keeping the weight in your toes, back, side, front, and close, and then we'll tondu, we'll roll up, into first position, so we're going to roll through plie, demi point, straightening the knees, balance in first position, open the arms, you can look left, forward, right, forward, elongé, and finish. And you can try to finish without the bar. If not, hold on to the bar when you finish. Okay, so we have our pulses. Um, this is what Lourdes calls our Stanley plies. Um, so we do pulse two, three, four, five, six round de jambe to this side. Pulse two, three, four, five, six round de jambe to the back. And then six to the side 
and six to Suta Nu. And then we do the other side, and then we start our ronde jumps to the front and side and back, close fifth, back and side and front, close fifth, and one more time, and then Suta Nu. And then we'll balance in first position. So just follow along with me, okay? Okay, who's feeling warm? I am. <laughs> okay, so let's do a nice little stretch combination. Since we've kind of gotten our heart rate up, we're, we're gonna stretch a little bit. Um, so let's do stretch. So this should feel very nice um, after you've been working really hard this morning. So we're gonna do facing the bar. <clears throat> so we're gonna do in first position, reaching the arm from the side all the way up. So this is like the port of bend that we did earlier. And then you're gonna take your right foot and in plie, scoot it out to second. So the arm was here and we just let it go through and we're gonna go right back to the same way we went. And then you're gonna hold on to the bar and then we're gonna do a nice, generous, deep grown plie, holding on to your stationary object. One, two, and one, two. And then we're gonna go back to first. And we're gonna do 
reaching the arm all the way to the side, chasseing out into second position, reaching the arm, and coming back. Make sure your stomach's in, shoulders down, knees are going straight to the side. So I don't want to see this. I want to see your knees go straight to the side. Yeah, so <clears throat> one and two and three and four. And then from second position, you're going to turn to your right, turn in, do a little quarter bra up and all the way down. And really stretch out your hamstrings, your calf. Go, only go as far down as you can. Um, if you can only go this far, that's fine. I still feel a great stretch in my calf right now. Rolling up, a little combre right back, not much, just, just as if you're looking up towards the sky. So a little combre right back, and then we'll switch to the other side. So we'll go forward. You can grab your leg. I've got dog hair all over my tights. Uh, and then coming up, a little combre back. And that's it. Okay, so it's nice and therapeutic. If anybody knows who Renaris Ray's is, we call him Ray. This is his combo, and I love it. So, he teaches at Miami City Ballet School. And he used to be a principal dancer with Miami City Valley. All right, here we go. Good, everybody. That should have felt very therapeutic too. Um, we have one more combination that I want to do with you, and it's called Grumbut Ma. So, for those of you that haven't really done a lot of Grumbut Ma's, um, you don't have to bat ma your leg high. It's a bat ma, um, but it doesn't have to be necessarily high. It's better to be. Um, properly placed to have your hips down and your back's straight and instead of trying to lift your hip to get your leg up. Um, so let's do from fifth position we're going to do what we call cloche which is um, we're going to do front and back, front back, front, back, front, close, fit. So, if you want to let your leg go a little bit higher, you can start low and then let it go higher as we continue. So, we go front, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we're going to do 
one slow to the side, and one slow to the side, plie, soutenu. <clears throat> so then we're going to go to the, the opposite side, so we're going to do, and you can keep your leg low, you can keep it one, like just like this, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you don't have to do it high, you can even go to hip level, so two Brahma Mas to the side, or if you feel more advanced, you can bat might up there. But the point is not to do this. It's to keep your hips level and still. So the main thing is that you do not have to have your leg high. So this is just an exercise. So let's, it's eight counts of cloche. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One grabama to the side, and one grabama to the side, sutanu. Oh, we have someone from Honduras and Costa Rica. So cool that we can all connect this way um, when we, uh, at this time. Thank you, technology, uh, and thank you for tuning in. So here we go. One more. Grand Batma. Let's just do one more thing. It's called a reverence. It's it's more for like a classical um, or a, a class, a ballet basic class. Sure. So let's do a reverence. And basically, we're just gonna. It's kind of like when we bow at the end of our performances. It's a thank you to you from me, and a thank you to, from you to me for this class and this day. So we're gonna um, just start first, and we're gonna walk forward with the arm, and walk forward with the arm, and tendu, ronde jambe, and we're gonna do a little curtsy, six, seven, eight. And then we're gonna do the other side, walk forward, walk forward, and Tondu to the back and curtsy six seven and you can close fifth. Okay, so one more tiny little thing. Just a nice way to end. Awesome, everybody. Thank you, thank you so much for joining. Um, 
I hope to see you again next Saturday. I'll be uh, teaching again next Saturday. Um, Lauren Fadele will be teaching her stretch and conditioning class this week, as well as Reiner Krenstetter. He'll be teaching his um, intermediate class. <laughs> uh, please tune in. Keep up with us on Instagram. We're um, giving back to y'all in the community, um, trying to do what we can for everybody. Um, everyone stay safe and have a wonderful, wonderful holiday weekend. Um, and I have one more surprise, as usual, like we did yes, last Saturday. Come here, Leon. Leon. Hi, buddy. Leon wants to dance, too. Hi, buddy. Say hello. <laughs> Still camera shy. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Yes, happy Easter. Um, thank you, Reiner, for tuning in. And, um, I love seeing everyone's comments. Uh, we can always dance, so keep dancing, and have a wonderful, wonderful beginning of your Saturday. Um, and I hope to see you all soon again. Thank you. I forgot how to turn this off. Oh, end. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>